question seven, we're told the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. We have this steel sphere here, which has a radius of nine centimeters, and we're asked to work out the volume of the sphere. So it's a simple case of plugging this nine into this formula over here. So my volume, oops, my volume is going to be equal to four thirds of pi times by the radius cubed which is going to be 9 cubed. Okay so um, clear my calculator I've got 4 thirds of pi times 9 cubed. And that gives me 972 pi centimeters cubed. Um, and I'm going to write that, I'll write it as that, 972 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, um, part B says the density of the steel is 7.8 grams per centimeters cubed. For every one centimeter um, cubed that we've got, we've got 7.8 grams. So to work out the mass of the sphere, I need to do 900, oops, 972 pi. That's how many centimeters cubed I've got in total. And I need to times that by the mass of each centimeter cubed, which is 7.8. Okay, so that's 972 pi times by 7.8. And that gives me, and we're going to write this down in grams, so that's grams, 23,818 grams. So 23,818 grams. Okay. Question eight, the area of the rectangle is 68 centimeters squared, and we need to work out the size of angle X. Okay, so our rectangle has a width of 16, or a length of 16, and then we've got this height here that is currently unknown. However, I do know that the area is going to be 68 centimeters squared. So to work out this height, I'll label that as h. It's going to be, well, 16 times h is going to be 68. So 68 divided by 16 must be h. So I know that h is going to be equal to 68 divided by 16. Um, i my calculator for that. 68 divided by 16 gives me 4.25 centimeters. Okay, so I now know the height. So, if I put that in there, we've got 4.25 centimeters. Okay, so to work out the angle X, um, well, this is going to be the opposite side of a right angle triangle and this here is going to be an adjacent side of a right angle triangle. So to work out x I can use my tan function because I know that tan of x is going to be equal to my opposite divided by my adjacent and that tells me that tan of x is going to be equal to my opposite is 4.25 and my adjacent side is going to be 16 so, so 4.25 divided by 16 and that's going to give me with that number there, 0 0.26565. So 
zero point two six five six two five. Okay, so that's what the tan um, ratio of my angle is going to be. So to work out the angle itself, I need to do the inverse tan of 0 0.265625. So if I do the inverse tan, of the answer that was there and that's going to tell me that my angle is in fact going to be 14.9 degrees to one decimal place so it's going to be 14.9 degrees okay question 9 which number is not in standard form? Okay, so in order for a number to be in standard form, I need it in the form a times 10 to the power of b. And a has to be a number that's um, greater than one, but less than 10. So I can't have this one because that number is not greater than one. Um, and the rest of these should be okay. Um, so the number that's not in a standard form is going to be that one there. Okay, the rest of them are times 10 to the power of something. But on this one, I've not got a number that's greater than one. Okay, question 10. A charity collection was made information about the amounts given by a man is shown in this table over here we need to work out the mean amount given by sorry the mean amount of um, given by women was six pound thirty per person and we need to compare the mean amount given by men and women so we need to work out the mean for the men and it's actually going to be an estimate of the mean Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to work out the midpoints for each of these groups here. So the midpoint of 0 and 5 is going to be 2.5. The midpoint here is going to be 7.5. And over here we're going to have 12.5. Okay, and then over here we're going to do our frequency, which is the number of men, times by our midpoint. Okay, so we've got 11 times 2.5 which is going to be 27.5 we've got 7 times 7.5 and that's going to be 52.5 and then we've got 2 times 12.5 which is 25 and if we total those together, 7.5 plus 25, and that gives us 105. Okay, so the mean is going to be um, the total over here, which is 105. divided by the number of men there were, which is 20. Okay, so there's 105 pounds altogether, and we want to divide that by 20. And that gives us five pounds, 25. Okay, so if we're going to compare the mean amounts given by men and women, we can say that on average, women gave more than men. 